Hello again. I almost didn't record part two. I'm glad I had a peek. This is an 18 by 24 inch canvas and I am Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, inviting you to join me for part two. And we've been playing with beads and shovels and all kinds of stuff. And that's just a little old ring pour from the paint that I have over here that I hope you can see in my dish. And if you can't, you will in a minute. I'm just using every method I can think of to have a good time. And hoping that my camera doesn't overheat because <laughs> it's pretty warm out here today. So that's cool and it makes me just want to do it again. I also see that I am missing some paint paint flows to paint but on hot days it dries up when you're outside and this is one of those so I'm going to add some paint to the edge where I can see the canvas showing through and I'm going to use the bead of paint that I see to go over the edge and cover the edge because it's more paint than I need to cover up my missing canvas you know I'm so close to being done I gotta tell you it's just it's just a wild piece. I just want, I want to pull those out, but I don't want, come on. Now I'm going to dip my skewer in, and I'd like you to be able to see this, and I think I got some stuff in the way, so I'm going to take a moment and move it out of the way. So I have some elbow room, and let's move that canvas right into your line of vision, hopefully. Let's find a nice clean skewer too, so we don't have any accidents. I am going to dip my skewer right into the line I just created. Back and forth with it. I'm going to use the next bunch of paint. Just rest it in the paint. I'm going to tip that a little bit. I would love, someday my space will come and I will have more space where things are not in my way. All right, I don't want to go too far overboard, but I'd like it to cover. Some more. It's a because I can moment and I feel I must. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't bother me. Even that little splooge doesn't really bother me. She lied unconvincingly. Splooge. So let's do it again. One wide line. There is no perfection. I'm kind of happy with that. Wow, am I happy with that. Makes me want to do something over here, but I'm not sure what that is. Let's do something over here. Let's be fast and loose with paint. <laughs> I'm going to grab some gorgeous colors. And try not to make too many splooges. Slightly precarious, to be sure. Right over the edge with you. Try and drag it out, not touching the canvas at the end, so you have a chance to have a thin point if you want that, which is what I wanted. But I'm not necessarily going to get it. But I am going to like what I get, I'm pretty sure. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe. Thought it would look good at the time. Yeah, I still like it. Hopefully you can see all that. Really, I mean that. I hope so. If you can't see it, then um, 
I'm just adding paint to the canvas over here in the corner and I'll be back in a minute. I thought you could when we started. I kind of like that. I also... like it up here. Plus I can drip some down over the edge. Yep, I'm not unhappy with that. It's okay. I got some nice orange. I think I like moving the paint around and making patterns. I keep forgetting I have a nice quantity of white paint in the background so even though it's hot out here I can actually manipulate paint. I'm going to take my skewer and dip it to the best of my ability which may or may not have been good enough. I still left paint in my way. Wow! I am not super efficient today. Okay, so like that. I don't mind that. I'm going to take a little paint from my pan. And see if what I want to do is continue because really and truly I haven't torched. I do like what I've got. I can put a little bit of paint right on my skewer and use it to draw with. I also tend to want <laughs> to make dots and so I'm going to take what's in my skewer. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm another inarticulate day. Oh well. So I'm going to throw some of my favorite purple in there and then I'm going to take and I'm going to start with the sharp end. And I'd like to make some dots. Some drips, yep. That's not bothering me. I'd like to do them without mud. I'm going to use the fat under the skewer just to facilitate time because I think it will make better dots, <laughs> to tell you the truth. And I'm going to get rid of that little scoop because I have better opportunity for more colors over here. And I'm going to dip, I'm going to let all my paint go down in the corner and pool. Seldom have I allowed myself to be as dotty as I wanted. <laughs> right now, I'm going dotty. Go figure. I don't know if it's the best idea I ever had, but I'm having fun. And fun is always good for me. I want more purple. I can sew here that thunder rolling. See, because I'm picking up color out of my pan, hopefully not dragging too much of it. Yeah, you know what? I am having a good time, no matter what anybody thinks. Why not, in fact? I do see that brown in there, and I don't really want it there. But it looks kind of orangey over this way, so I don't really mind it there. Ooh, what 
what else? What else? What else? Did I not do something I said I was going to do? I did actually use the beads. I'll pick up some more color. Put my point on. Pick up some more color. Add another little... See, I just dragged the color off the canvas because I wasn't careful. I had to apply a little more. I do like these long spiky things. I gotta admit. I think I hear the rain. Should not be surprised. It's rained a lot this summer. Alright, so I think I need. Yes, I do. I hear the rain. The rain is almost always lucky for us. Well, it's always lucky so far. How about that? So the only thing I can think of that I want to do left is maybe another little tiny ring. But I'm not sure that that's a great idea. But since I'm incapable of stopping myself... <laughs> bad impulse control. <laughs> that's very brown. I think very brown requires very white. White pearl. Yep, I'm not unhappy with that. And the only other thing I want to do is probably grab my favorite purple. Yep. Not bothering me a bit. Do what I want because I can. I got stuff in my way again. And I got some beautiful colors in that dish. Is that not incredible? Those are just gorgeous patterns. And I'd like to think I could scrape it all out. I don't know how many people I've bored yet. I'm going to have to fix my edges my white edges and my black edges. And I'm going to use whatever grayish purple <laughs> weird brownish color I have in the bottom of my scoop because I don't actually mind it with everything else. It's sort of like using a neutral. So it's okay with me. I don't want to get too funky down. Funky. Funky downtown over there. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, Okay, I think there's every bit as much going on there as there needs to be going on there. <laughs> kind of don't know about that space over there, but... Um, I guess that's what's going over the, on over there now. black is very sheer and not attached to the canvas very well. I just want to make this a more organic looking line. If I really was concerned about making more cells I would probably throw some more black on there but it's a hot day and things are drying and I would just as soon... I wish I had a thinner tip. So I'm going to have to be cautious and cover some stuff up. Now I could put my beads in there, but I don't think so. <laughs> I just don't think so. I think I'm going to call that torchable and tell, the, tell you that if you like what I do, all my experiments and my play, 
that it's nice if you want to contribute. And those of you who have, are, have kept me painting. So thank you very much for that. Wait, <laughs> I see it. Do I see it? I don't know if I see it or not. Do I want that anywhere else? Good question. Let's just let that go right over the edge. Not worry about it. Just when I thought I was done. I'm like that. You'll be used to it sometime. Okay, so I kept complaining about all that brown. So let's just distract the eye. Some really bright color. Not that it probably won't dry burgundy. But I like that. And if tomorrow I hate it, or I need something else to do to it, I will. Ooh, cool. Got all kinds of colors in there I didn't realize were there. I got no spirals. I still got no spirals. I still haven't torched. <laughs> I'm still, <laughs> still diddling along looking for my blue metallic paint and not really finding it and thinking that it's over here somewhere. Not minding that. Come on, out. Out you come. All right, so tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> we'll figure out if we want to do something else to this tomorrow. In the meantime, that blue's coming right down there where I want it to go, and I'm going to torch. And say, as I was attempting to say earlier, if you want to keep me working, I appreciate all the help I can get. I have a Patreon and a PayPal link, icons on my YouTube header, and links in the description below the video. Also below the video is the Amazon link that takes you to some of my tools, including my OXO spatulas. Get the big one, it's better. And cheaper. All right, I'm incapable of not working on this some more. <laughs> Sorry. I see stuff and I just gotta do it. Anyway, so we still have a moment and uh, I have a link to the wet and dry artworks taken pictures of from uh, YouTube, a Facebook link at the bottom of the description, and I have lots and lots of Pinterest boards where I have put stuff, useful, cool stuff, coffee mugs, shower curtains, uh, printed with my artwork. And um, if nothing else, they're fun to look at. So have a go. That is far too brown for me. And I have got too much stuff in my hands. And I want that gone. And I don't think I'm going to be doing another video, so... There it's go. There it goes. Yes. It's time to clean up the studio space, I think. So this is Priscilla <laughs> in Spring Hill at Expressionist Art Studio, still pulling paint with my bamboo skewer, saying, I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go back to torching in a minute, and you're going to be gone if you're not gone already. I love you guys. Thanks for the contributions that keep me working, and uh, thanks for the great comments and all the love and the fun. And I'm happy to help. Yeah, so it's not perfect. It's still cool. Anyway, so that's that for now. <laughs> she says, hopefully, more hopefully than not. There's a little signature spiral right in the middle. All right, we're still recording.